It was here at the roadblock leading to Ventuk at 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday that the chase started after the suspects made a U-turn just before the roadblock in an alleged attempt to flee from getting arrested. The suspects were caught later that day after they opened fire at the police officers. Two of the suspects were wounded during the shootout and they were rushed to hospital under heavy police surveillance. They have been charged with armed robbery, assault, torture, causing grievous bodily harm, possession of illegal firearms, amongst others. The four men are also linked to an armed robbery of a security company in Oshivarango, where about 340,000 cash and a vehicle were stolen. They were napped near the capital along the B1 highway. It is after launching an investigation of the brutal assault of Helmut Goldbeck, a local farmer, that it was then discovered that there was a notorious gang on the loose. Fake police vehicle number plates, firearms and property belonging to the farmer also found in the suspect's possession. This included the prodder that was allegedly used to electrically torture the pensioner. We want people to cooperate with the police, work hand in hand with the police, giving information to the police so that all the suspects can be arrested. All or most of the suspects, if, if not all of them, to be. So that um, we can live in a free society. Newey warned that the police will continue working hard at rooting out the growing trend of crimes of this sort, as every citizen has the right to live in a safe environment. We don't want to. We don't want people to. To rob other people. We don't want people to steal other people's property. What we want is anybody to do by all possible means, to work on his own, um, starting own projects and so on. Time will tell what will become of these four suspects. For now, they remain in police custody. For the News on One, I am Rochelle Nadel.